Good morning, boys and girls. It's teacher Michelle, and it's so great to see you guys. I hope you guys all had a great week. So today, we are going to talk about David. Remember, David had everything. He had God's favor, God's presence. He had a family, he had a kingdom. He was obedient and faithful to God. But one day, one afternoon, all of that changed. Do you guys remember what happened? Yes, so one afternoon on the roof of his house, David saw a beautiful woman taking a bath. So he sent his servant to ask who she is. And it turns out that this woman was the wife of one of David's soldiers. Now I have these two arrows. Right now, David has two paths that he can take. One, he can turn his eyes away and flee from temptation. The other path is that he can let his eyes linger and allow lust to master over him. Which path do you think David took? Do you remember? You can pause the video and point to the path that you think David took. Do you guys remember what happened? Well, David did let his eyes linger. He was blinded by his judgment. He was tempted and lured into sin. And because of that, he committed adultery. So David sinned and he tried to hide his sin in so many ways. That one sin led him to continue to sin. Now, did this please God? Give me a thumbs up if you think this pleased God. Give me a thumbs down if you think it did not please God. What do you think? Not at all. God is not pleased with David's sin. So God responded to David with this gracious discipline. Do you remember who he sent to confront the king? He sent Nathan to confront David. Eventually, David repented, and he repented of his sin and asked God for forgiveness. Now, I'm going to show you a phrase, and I'm going to see if you guys know what it means. So the phrase says, give them an inch, and they take a mile. Raise your hand if you have heard this phrase before, or you know what it means. Well, this phrase means that if you give somebody a little bit of power or a little bit of freedom, they're going to try to do a lot more with it. And that's the same with sin. If you give it a place in your heart, sin is going to grow. So I'm going to take you guys to my backyard and I want to show you something. Look right here. What do you guys see? Oh my goodness, look at these weeds. Well, sin is also like these weeds. If you give it a place to grow, it's going to take over. Now, I want us to kind of think and reflect. What are some ways that you let sin in your lives? Think about this week. Think about last week. Maybe you lied about your homework. Maybe you got angry with your brother and sister. Take some time and think about what are some ways you let sin in your life? Well, boys and girls, we all sin. You and I sin. Everybody in this world sin. So what happens when you have realized that you've sinned? Well, we are so lucky to have a gracious God. We can come before God and confess and repent of our sins. And just like with David, you know, God forgave David. God will also forgive us of our sins. So after you realize maybe you reflected upon this week and realized there are some sins in your heart, I hope that you, you know, maybe with a parent or you in your room, you guys can just pray and come before God to confess, repent of your sins, and to ask for forgiveness. Well, it was amazing to just review this lesson with you. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing week and happy Sunday.
Bye.